They were the first electronic dance group to sell at Madison Square Garden. They post live shows on SoundCloud that almost instantly seemed to have millions of streams. But not so long ago, before there was Above and Beyond, Tony was working as director and manager at Warner. If you saw anything at Warner, why some groups seemed to just take off and others just sort of flicker out or fade away? I guess the artists that really stood out were the ones that inhabited an area of, I guess, mental discourse that nobody else was doing. You could look at maybe Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette kind of exploded onto the scene um, and her persona was of the angry, embittered ex-girlfriend. You know, the, the, the song that she wrote where she, she spoke about how she was feeling about her ex-boyfriend in not too uncertain terms was a huge hit for her. And we ended up selling two million albums uh, doing very little marketing. So for me, I think what uh, Alanis managed to do was to, to own a voice that wasn't being used by anybody else uh, that had a huge audience. And I think all big artists that succeed quickly do that. The template for success, if there is one, and I'm, I'm not sure there is just one, but something that really works is to speak very honestly about your own life in a way that other people can identify with.